Hello! How's everyone doing today? Today! We killed Bill today! That's right! We're killing Bill. Um, <laughs> in Red Dead Redemption, Bill Harrison, he's gotta go. He's gotta die. It's time, you guys. <laughs> Bon, get the tables! Hey, Creamy! <laughs> hey, Bridget! Hey, Faith! What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Got a cat in the back. Don't worry about it, guys. Got a little more costume to put on before we can go today. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to killing Bill today, guys. It's been a while since I've seen Kill Bill, too. Or as well. Okay, if we look at her picture. Um, she looks like this. I'm very yellow today, by the way, intentionally. Uh, yeah, fuck Bill. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, yes, Brody, got it. You want to still me to still call you Brody? I think we gotta put some black down the middle of this onesie. And then black on the arms. Milk is in here. Arthur Morgan said he didn't know if he could make it, but he left a message at the start of stream. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, it's totally up to you. I can call you Saki or Cone. You prefer? Okay, and then she had like down the shoulder and then down the arm. Oh, should I go over the hood with it? Maybe to blend in the hood a little more. Oh, you're doing the vampire one? I uh, didn't realize you could skate, save scum a bit, Brody, before you do that one. Because I didn't realize I should I could save the game. I know, what a dumb thing to not realize. Um, and then I did it, and then I died, and then it was done. I couldn't go do it again. It was over with and done. Do you guys have a Pikachu onesie? You too can have a very easy Kill Bill costume. Hey, Brayden. You need a sword or a butter knife. You killed the legendary all alligator. Did you have fun with it, Brody? That was my favorite thing to hunt was the alligator. Let me cut this. So like I'm watching volume one all over again. Uma who, man? <laughs> yeah. Uma who? Time to get me for the reboot. <laughs> what a fun uh, TV series Kill Bill was. Also, if you're wondering why I look a little weird today, I had to, for whatever reason, I had to up the contrast and the saturation so much to get my yellow to look yellow instead of like a pale sad butter because it is this yellow in real life but in order to get that my face is like significantly redder today as a result so sexy banana yeah she did bring the sexy banana vibes 
A hundred percent. Yeah, now we gotta kill Bill costume. Just a little electric tape. This one was not quite long enough. Yeah, I'm excited to kill Bill today. Um, I don't have anything else to say. I have been out in the garden all day. Gardening my food, because I won't be able to afford food soon. Um, <laughs> And the humidity is absolutely killing me here, guys. I am not used to humidity, but if I go outside and it's room temperature, it's like 22 degrees outside, and I like exert myself slightly by weeding the garden for like 20 minutes, I'm sweating bullets. My face is so damp. Um, I just, I don't know how to cope with it. Also, we might have to take this off a little ways in because it will get hot in here and it's supposed to be um, not cold today. So if I ask you to stand up, it's if you won't see anything is the thing right now. Um, I have some I have a T-shirt and shorts under this because I don't feel like being completely naked every time I go to the bathroom and uh, you can see the shadow of them through it. So it's not as cool. Maybe when we do, if we ever do a Pokemon game, I'll wear the Pikachu one and I'll take a full fledged picture of it because it does look pretty good on me. It's quite. Seen Stranger Things yet? Human Thurman's little girl plays a great part in it. Oh, I didn't know she had kids in acting. In acting? <sighs> okay. Garvey's being a little devil today. Last night, I forgot all... He only bit me... He bit me no times. No big bites. No big, oh my god, ouch. So much pain. Why am I trying to keep this thing alive again? Um, because all it is is hurting me. This is a toxic relationship. Um, no big bites like that. And then he did, like lay on my chest and purr for like an hour straight and it's very hard to resist him when he's being that snuggly and cuddly um but he's back to being a terror today advertising the only fans first stream <laughs> Man, if I started an OnlyFans, I would have to start advertising it on my stream, wouldn't I? That's how you get the people! It was the easiest thing ever, and there's people in a wagon in front of a tram, so stole the wagon and cops came after. We had to kill most of them until they killed you. <laughs> I know, the cops are never ending. The, the law? is very efficient in Red Dead Redemption 2. Like they just come out of the woodworks and all of a sudden there's a billion people on your tail trying to kill you. Um, it's a little insane. Yes, Garby, ruin the green screen. Do it. You like my yellow outfit? It is a Pikachu onesie that I put electric tape on. It's called... Uh... And I probably paid $7 for it because I got it secondhand. Garvey is just wrecking shit in my office right now. I don't even know what he's wrecking. Put him in the frying pan. Just have a little snack. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it that it's completely like, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to eat cats in Canada. Like, I think that's a firm... You know what? We should look it up. I'm gonna get tagged as one of those people. Um, the equivalent of the FBI in Canada, I don't even know what it is, will come down on me. You eat cats in Canada. It's totally illegal to eat cats and dogs in Canada. But it's illegal to hurt them. It's illegal to torture and traumatize pets. That's interesting that you can eat them, but you can't beat them. 
Basically, we don't care if you eat it. You just can't beat it. The royal. Oh, yeah, I guess it might be part of um, the Mounties. Because, like, uh, the RCMP is, like, our national police. I have a friend who's an RCMP. Um, also, RCMP, if you don't have an area that's too small to have its own city police, it's policed by the RCMP as well. Um, after searching, remember to delete your internet history. <laughs> Cops always walk by if you hide in a bush, and they also spawn out in the middle of the desert. <laughs> yeah, the best is like you're in the middle of nowhere, there's not a single soul. And you do a crime, and then all of a sudden there's like 40 guys. You're like, where did you guys come from? Hmm? Nobody was here five minutes ago. Where did you come from? <laughs> Just do it secretly. Looked like a cool shadow intro when Garvey walked in. <laughs> like, I've, I've set this up, and I've trained him. I've trained him to come a bit now, because he gets treats, so he's, uh... He's catching on. Beat and eat the pussy. <laughs> yeah. You can't beat the pussy. Meet the pussy. Uh, it's really... In real life during the 1800s, the cops will be like, forget it. Yeah, exactly. The thing is, in the wild, wild west, the cops weren't that good. And that's why it's so annoying. <laughs> the game wants to punish you for being a shithead. And like, be on top of it. Like, it's GTA. But it's not GTA. I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's no one here. You shouldn't. You you shouldn't be there either. Get out of here. Canada didn't need a don't eat cats and dogs law. Canadians are too nice. Yeah, Uma Thurman. Exactly. She's great. <laughs> yeah. Um. Garvey is. Well, Garvey doesn't necessarily follow me to room to room as all. Well. You can see a bit more of uh, my outfit that way. Um, yeah, so the saturation is just cranked up. So you can see the red tones in my face are very, very red right now. I should throw on some more makeup. Top. Pop it down! Get out of here, red. Um, because, yeah, I don't need to wear blush ever, because I supply my own. I'm just a... Naturally have all the red I could possibly want on my face. Just get rid of it, because our saturation is just boom! I don't know why this webcam... Um, this, the... The webcam, when you just take it out of the package, desaturates things so badly. Like, it's an issue with uh, the C22 Logitech webcams. Um, but you can fix that with apps and stuff like that. See, now my face is just a little less red. I look a little more like a human being. As you can see how red this hand is, right? Makeup tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Garvey! Not those cords. I put those cords way up and he's managed to pull them down. <laughs> it's Cat's turn to play Red Dead 1. Yes. Yeah, I know, Brody. I know. Sometimes you can see that it's created... Rockstar's created both, though. Like, when you're playing Red Dead and you're like, oh, getting some real GTA vibes here. And I, I don't know how I feel about it. Sometimes they're good vibes. Sometimes they're mad vibes. Diversify the channel. <laughs> no one wants that. No one is asking for that. I don't even know if you guys can hear. He's just, like jumping on the screen green screen in the back just probably shredding it i'm definitely taking the mentality very quickly of like a mother of three with all of them a toddler like a lack of supervision a lack of caring 
The only things I'm really trying to get him to stop doing is biting me and biting cords with electricity running through them. Like, which is like all cords, but cords, cords and me. Please stop biting me, those. Those are the only things I care about, Garvey. I don't care what else you wreck. <laughs> what turd. I don't think you'll be able to climb this green screen very well, though, because it's very slidey. You can't hear it. I do. I do try. Like, I need to be able to sometimes have like a fan running right here. So if m I need my mic to be that good, you know, the settings professional, take out all the background. Yeah, it's just like people, right, Kisser? Some people look really good with makeup on. Well, actually, that's the whole point of makeup, right? Makeup is supposed to transform you majority of the time to look better. So every single person out there, if you got a professional makeup artist to do your makeup, even if they didn't make it like obvious, like eyeliner or lipstick, um, you should look better afterwards. They should even out your skin tones, make your face look a little more symmetrical, all the things that make you uh, the average person look more attractive. Um, and some people look fantastic without makeup and that's just genetics and I don't know what to tell you. Other than like, you know, keeping your skin clear, which some people it's almost impossible to do with acne and stuff. Like you just, it's just an uphill battle for them. But you know, wash your face. There's really not a whole lot the average person can do other than maintenance and then makeup. But yes, we're pl we're killing Bill today. Turn on my PS3. Um, yeah, excited. Yeah, I would prefer to play Red Dead 2, Red Dead 3 over GTA 6, but I haven't played really any of the GTAs. Oh, you would want young Arthur, young Dutch, and young Hosea. Interesting, Bridget. I think the next Red Dead should have almost nothing to do with our current batch of people, like from Red Dead 2 or Red Dead 1. I think maybe it should go farther back in time, more Wild Wild West, instead of less Wild Wild West. Like John is like, the law is becoming stronger. And I think we should go back in time um, uh, a little bit more or something like that. And just do like a gold rush or, you know, something really fun with a completely different group of people and then maybe you throw in like an Arthur or Dutch like cameo but it's not all about them. I think that would be really good. It looks so hot after Vivian works her magic on you. I know. I know. You get someone who can just like shape your eyebrows to really symmetrical and then like even out your skin tone and make it look all natural creamy and you can just look like absolute fire. Um, but yeah, washing your face should be a unisex, everyone should be on top of their skincare, put your sunscreen on and wash your face. Cause this, this face is like the main way we communicate with other human beings. <laughs> so it should be like the main thing everyone should care about when it comes to appearance is just like, Hey. Let's just keep my face in as best shape as possible for as long as possible. That should be like the only goal. Other like other health things, but as far as like skincare goes, it's just I just want to get it as nice as possible so it will be as stay nice as long as possible cuz this this is the money maker, you know? They might put the Blackwater mission as the last mission if they do that. Yeah, that'd be cool, Brody. Because what the hell happened in Blackwater? Oh, maybe they tell me in Red Dead 1, but 
They just like all through Red Dead 2, they're like black water this and black water that and black water happened. And I'm like, Arthur's like, well, I wasn't there. <laughs> There's a lot of, um, hey, I feel really left out. You guys went and did this big heist. Shit went down because I wasn't there. And now you guys won't stop talking about it. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Rude. Okay, I think we might have some cat cam. Kirby has decided to calm down a little bit. Just a smidge. There he is. Did we learn that in Red Dead 2? I wasn't paying attention. Wouldn't you think World War II would be the bloodiest battle instead of the Civil War? No, not necessarily. I think actually World War I might have been worse because wasn't World War I all trench wars? And that's when we started coming up with the guns. So they, like, they'd have men run across the killing field and just get all shot mowed down. Like they they hadn't they hadn't changed fighting enough to suit the new technology. No, Dutch was crazy from the beginning. Yeah, Garvey Garvey has entered the stream. Garvey. Oh, he's he's settling down. He's getting sleepy. He terrorized my whole office, and now it's time. No Man's Land. Yes, that's what I was thinking about. I was like, there's a t term for it. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> yeah, sending men across No Man's Land to just get shot. It was terrible. Oh, you always liked him, Brody? I didn't care about him. Yeah, Cat Cam. Cat Cam. Uh, I still have, is it legal to eat cats in Canada up? Should get that, get rid of that. Don't want people to think I'm a psycho or something. <laughs> I'm not crazy, you're crazy. Um, but yeah, let's, oh. Hello? This isn't working over here in just a second. Yes, the, it was a little surprising that they did, but I had, I guess I had missed all my opportunities to bond with him. I had no feelings about that. I was just like, oh, now he's dead. I, uh, I was, I wasn't even sure I wanted him and now he's dead. Like, I don't know if he should be part of the team. Oh, he's dead. Be all right, open up. It'd be funny if they got here that fast. They live in the middle of nowhere. It's uh, an hour drive to the nearest city. An hour drive to the nearest city. And an hour and a half to the biggest, to bigger city, the biggest city. So, it's an FBI lurking in my bushes right now then, if he shows up on my doorstep, which is, as we know, Impressive. Okay. Let's switch over to Red Dead Redemption. Oh no. Yeah. I was glad to see him die as well. Um, Sadie was getting a little crazy. Uh, sh she's very killy. And she doesn't think things through sometimes. So I was on the edge of my seat the whole entire time. I was like, what's going to happen? What shit's going to go down? I don't know if it was a no mercy. He was just hung. Hung by his neck until he was dead. Okay. 
Your profile picks a smiley dog. That's a great profile pic. One of my favorite profile pics is a baby hippo who's smiling. I was like, yeah, just gonna spread a little joy today. Spread a little joy. I get that cat cam up. Give the people what they want. You can tell how saturated I am compared to Garvey's camera, which is not saturated at all. Hopefully I can wear this all stream because it could easily get very, very hot. <laughs> Look how red my face is in this one. This camera is a, a different setting than the just chatting camera I had. So we might have to fiddle with it a little bit because it's a little insane. Because, like, look how pale this yellow is. <laughs> we'll just have to down it, I guess, and be lighter. Lighter yellow. Uh, G... PS5, GTA just had a big update to the game. Didn't they update it to make it so that it was... You had to, like, pay a monthly fee to play GTA Online? Wasn't that one of the big updates they did? <laughs> Yo, Ed! What's up? Death by shows up. They might arrest the cat for selling illegal catnip. <laughs> He's too young to know how to grow his own catnip. He hasn't figured it out. Oh. Okay, I don't care. I went single player. Okay. I press single player. What more do you want? Okay, let's see if I can up. Oh, I know what I can do. I can go in this mode. Yeah. And then I can. Yeah. And then I can go to this and give it even more. No, I can't give it even. You want, you want it online? What's the word? Bird is the word. In Undead Nightmares, you get to hunt six bit feet? That's fun. That is fun. Oh, I have my overhead light on, so it's ruining things. Do they still have the Red Dead 1 servers? I have no idea. Okay, so... Yesterday was a Santa episode. Where Santa betrayed us. Um. So we're going to have to kill him as well. Uh, <laughs> you play the Red Dead 1 servers a lot? That horse is smoking. Yeah, he's on fire. That horse is on fire! That horse is on fire! Um, so we gotta do Louisa. Oh, she's right nearby. We might as well go do hers. And then rise now. 
Abraham Rise. Those are our our dudes. Those are our quests to get to Bill. To kill Bill. No, I think I have to go turn off the overhead lights. Uh, in a minute. Like I'm just hiding out at her house. I don't even remember coming to her house. It's always interesting to be like, when is the the game done? Like, when is on online date game done being served completely? Because that's just the fate of every single online game. Is eventually, it's not making any money, and the servers become obsolete and then die. Right? Hey, senor. Was I gonna go for a pee? What was I touching my crotch you want for? Trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antilas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Just... Ya lo tengo. Muevese, cabrón. Just the knife? <laughs> I love how you uh, labeled all of the provinces and territories in Canada. <laughs> uh, Alberta. Oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. It's the only online game you played, so you don't know. <laughs> Mr. Marston. My father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Gross. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Louisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Okay. So how do we make your dad's death mean something? I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For the you know your geography, yeah. Like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. How do you know? He knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. It seems like a lot of Spanish-speaking countries are kind of like lost my passionate people. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family. Just because. Please. Good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. <laughs> I will help you. Out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. We do not have much time to prepare the ambush. The thing is, uh, Canadians are just like a majority of just like a bunch of random people from a bunch of different places. So there's nothing genetically that makes us look one particular way or not sorry about your father his death must not be in vain now we shall fight even harder to win power for abraham i admire your devotion he is a true revolution oh she's just uh lauding him okay i gotta fix this i gotta turn off these overhead lights uh it's messing up my lighting you guys might not notice but i notice and it's making me angry making me mad um, but as a result, Kirby's going to be disturbed from his slumber. He was just settling down. Making me crazy. That's the thing.
thing I'm saying. I'm saying you guys are generalizing. And I don't necessarily agree. Because Americans and Canadians are... The majority of us are just a bunch of settlers from a bunch of different places. So there's no... Nothing to kind of guarantee everyone will be good looking. But that's, I mean, all countries are that way. There's nothing to guarantee that everyone in a country, just because they, the majority of the people in the country have certain features, are going to be good looking. Okay, Louisa has taken too many pills and she believes in the matrix um that is this dude this revolutionary rise who when we saved him and we said louisa sent us and he said who <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember pressing. Oh, is my controller spazzing out? Or we will miss our chance. Sometimes I think these controllers are possessed. My niece and nephew were playing really rough with it, apparently. Yeah, I didn't press that button. I didn't press any of these buttons. Stop it. I wanted to hear what she had to say. Well, uh, the tea doesn't have caffeine in it today. It is not far now. It's a the berry blast tea. Iced and sweetened. No, destroy them and kill Delicious. Everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. Do you have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My man cool, we're them. blowing shit up, I guys! I need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. Yeah, the question of the day is... There they are. Would you rather be able to get cool revenge on your greatest enemy but have to wear a leather yellow jumpsuit for the rest of your life or let them get away with wronging you? I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay. You think it's just... Follow me, gentlemen. Stuck on dirt? Where do you want it? It's not like drift drift. Tea with no caffeine seems crazy with me. Yeah, I'm not pressing any of these Where buttons the right now. No There's no time. <laughs> Start here. Uh wait. In here. Quick. I want this controller instead. <laughs> oh, it's possessed. Yeah, I just disconnected it. Doesn't mean it's it's a wireless controller game. <laughs> I want some here. So close to each other. Come back. We must finish this. Another one here. Set the last one here. <laughs> we said the detonator. We will handle the rest. <laughs> I didn't press these buttons! I'm not pressing these buttons right now. He's like, I want all the dynamite right at this one spot. And they're like, no, spread it out. And I was like, I I would love to spread it out, but I can't. Because... <laughs> because reasons. Okay, where is the controller settings? I did this the other day, but I don't remember how. So I can switch this red one from the blue one that's freaking out. We got jugs of sweet tea, not little cups of it. Yeah. Uh, my we definitely don't. Oh, that maybe no, that's just game. You'd rather wear the yellow outfit and then you can murder them. Okay. 
can kill them in a very cool, flamboyant way. Well, maybe I can just... Like, now it's not freaking out when I'm using this one, so maybe if I don't even touch this one. Turn it off. Okay, so this one is two. Uh, no. 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 Back. <laughs> Turn off controller. No, <laughs> don't quit game. Turn off controller. Oh. No. <laughs> okay, this controller's off. Okay. The possessed controller is off. Okay. Don't use the blue controller, use the red controller. <laughs> oh, so funny. We don't know who where our real ancestors or religion were from. I'm in America, but you could be French. Yeah, exactly. Like you can know where like maybe your your Great grandparents or something are from, but that's about it. Go to the detonator on the hill. I put my stuff way too close together because my controller was spazzing out and pressing the button for me. Yeah, it's super hot this week for a lot of you guys. I'm lucky it's only gonna get up to like 25 degrees Todos Celsius here today. Which is one reason why I can wear this onesie. Okay, let's ready this detonator. I and they will fall eventually. I have faith that could move mountains. Look, they are coming. Press R2 to activate dynamite. Okay, convoy. Switch to explosive. Okay, we don't start with that one. When they reach this one. And then we uh and then we we boop it for for all of them in one go, because they'll be they'll be lined out. Okay, so we wait, wait. Wait and do it. Boom! Oh, oh, I didn't get them up. Okay, we got it. That's too damn close. Follow me. This guy? No. Well, I can't see the dude. I think we did all right. Who's the guy that's alive still? Oh, I'm crouched. I didn't mean to be crouched. This guy. <laughs> I don't think of this guy. He's like, I'm just driving. I'm doing my best. Hey, bro. Sorry, you gotta go. <laughs> Glitched out so they didn't kill him. Glitched out that he didn't try to kill anyone else. I would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. Well, our dynamite situation could have been better, but it worked out fine. It worked out A-OK. -okay. All 
Okay, now we can... Louise again. And then Rice. I thought we were done all of Louise's stuff, but I guess I was wrong. That's it. We should be killing Bill today in this episode, though. Definitely be killing Bill today. I just don't know what the timeline is. But it's gonna happen. Oh, spaces for braces or retainer? Brody? They absolutely- when they go in, they're the worst. Because it feels like you have food in between your teeth, but you can't pick it out. And then when they pull it out painful as well. Actually, or all orthodontal work is just like sore. Just makes your mouth sore because you're changing the physical shape of like where your teeth are at slowly over time and it just makes everything the worst, you know? I had a retainer in grade four. I had braces in grade 9 and 10. controller's coincidence since we are killing Bill. Yeah, that's true. The bite stick is just... Ah! Oh, I don't know what the bite stick is. Maybe that's something new since I had braces. Man, the wolves are so chompy in this game. There's always wolves and they're always trying to eat me. Dollar dollar Bill, yo! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, braces are the worst. Although, if you have enough moolah, if you have enough cash, cash, money, you can get those sweet-ass Invisalign ones. Because that's what retainers look like now. It's just the Invisalign braces. So you can get this really, really cool, non-intrusive braces where you... Eat without them and everything. Almost ran my horse into the ditch. Okay, what is this? Butterfly weed. That's what I've been after. That is not what I've been after, but okay. I'll pick it up anyway. Let's go. He's over here at her squalid little house. Oh no, it's not her squalid little house. Her house is burnt down and she keeps going back to it. Girl, the house is gone! John, thank God you have come. That wretched animal that Santa has been sent to oversee a Yeah, Santa Claus isn't nice in this game, guys. And finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Hurry, I don't know how much time we have. Chang, Chang. Cool. Uh, oh, there's my horse. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go. Hi! Have fun storming the castle! 
Uh, they were going to do it a long time from now, but it's dug inside your mouth. Oh my goodness. Ugh, Brody. The horrors of dentistry, eh? She's a brave girl. She can fight as well as any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fighting for Reyes. Yes, women, even children. Everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. That's a lot to sacrifice. I just hope it's worth it. It is better to die free than live a slave. Man, everyone's riding so fast. How do you guys keep your sombreros on? No, I was never much good at taking order. So where did you learn about explosives? I guess some banks ain't easy to get into on weekends. What you get at the bridge, destroying that convoy. The army is getting weaker by the day. I'm sure there's more supplies where those came from. We will destroy those too. I get they scared and making mistakes. We are closer to victory than you think. El sepulcro is just up ahead. I think he rinsed your mouth and looked like he put someone's head inside and blew it up. Oh my goodness. That reminds me of, um, so my braces, because I had a retainer when I was younger, my braces were just for looks. Like, it's just to make my teeth a little bit straighter. It's not for function. My braces weren't because I functionally needed braces. My braces were to make my teeth look even straighter and prettier. And my mom asked me, because I was grade 9 at the time. She's like, do you want them? And I was like, well, I don't want them on the bottom teeth. Um, and she's like, okay. I'm like, well, maybe we could straighten out the top. Um, and I'd be willing to wear braces for like six months or eight months or whatever they were quoting us at the time. Uh for that and in order to turn this tooth i had to go in for surgery and i was awake the whole time and they just numbed it and i was awake and i had like uh i don't know peanut noodles or something before and i heard them just uh, 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 just sign through the gums i couldn't feel the sign i felt the pressure but I, I heard them just sawing, like, all of the noises of, like, s the, the mechanics of the surgery were so loud. Because I was awake and it was in my mouth and in my head. Um, that afterwards, it made me so lightheaded that I, like, threw up. It made me nauseous. I threw up after I got that done, which is not great, obviously. Um, because it was mouth surgery, but yeah, it was just horrendous. Zero out of ten would not recommend being awake when they saw through your gums because it just gives you a complex, man. The kid beside you looked at you and you smiled like nothing happened. <laughs> the kid beside you is like, oh my god, please no. Please don't make me have these braces. Uh, that's not a good spot. No, you get out of that spot. That's my spot. God damn it. Guess I'll... Here we go. Man, the NPCs in this game are very good at their job. Most of the time, the NPCs do jack shit while you line up your shots, but these guys actually kill a lot of dudes. A little hard to tell who's on my side. There's no clear uniforms a lot of the time.
There's a guy over here, too. Where is he? Oh, there you are. I was like, where is this guy? It's amazing here. Getting full top races next week, yeah. Santa. Can you tackle people in this one? You betrayed us! You betrayed me! <laughs> it's you first, then Alinde! Guess Are you the man? If you kill me! We'll have the entire Mexican army after you. Okay. I don't know why I caught him with the lasso just because I could, I guess. Cause I shot him in- No, I shot him in the head and he didn't die. This will all be over soon. He had a friend that woke up in the middle of his wisdom teeth removal and he said it hurt like he was getting stabbed a hundred times. And I will make you a rich man. Oh my goodness, I can tell you a horror story about wisdom teeth being removed, too. I think this is the bad guy. You're angry. I can understand that. Um, they not waking up during the surgery. So I went to this wisdom teeth place that, like, Please. shoved you in, got Please you knocked out, teeth. removed your teeth, and then they, like, tried to push you out the door. Like, as soon as you wake up. They wake you up way too early. They don't let you sleep it off. They wake you up way too early. And then they, like, push you out the door. And my mom was like, she looks really, really pale. And I almost fainted because of the knockout drugs and stuff. And, you know, blood loss and shit. Um, and they just wanted to push me out the back door. Because that's what they do. They were pushing people out the back door. It was really sketchy. <laughs> but like, like, I know 10 people who got the wisdom teeth taken out there. <laughs> like it was the, it was the course. It was the place to get your wisdom teeth removed. What can I say? Um, was it a good place to get your wisdom teeth removed? No. The customer service was atrocious. Well, now we're beating up Santa. How do we feel about this? You fucking pig! Go back to your country! Where is Javier Escuela? Yeah, Santa Claus! Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. All right. His face is so beaten. Casa Madruga. It's hold up there. Hurry up! Kill me! Or just let me go, okay? Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? Ooh! Please! I'll do it. Guys, should we kill him or should we let them kill him? Your choice. Drugged up and forced to use the back door. <laughs> Dirty. That's one way that um, the people who were coming in didn't understand or realize that they were shoving people who were, like, still under the influence of the knockout drugs just out the back door. So it was sort of like you use the other door so you don't see what state your child will be in when they leave. <laughs> As I can see people going, why are you kicking people out when they're so drugged up still? Like, can't you just let them sleep? 
Oh, and the best part is, like, you don't wake up in a room. You wake up in the hallway on a, one of the beds. And then they just try to get you on your feet and leave. <laughs> kill him. Kill. Kill. Live. Oh, uh, so far, we're killing him. Does anyone else want to vote? Anyone else in chat want to vote? Wisdom teeth? It depends on if they're wrecking your mouth or not. I think a lot of people get them taken out when they're younger because the wisdom teeth are coming in not straight. So they only take them out if they're not coming in straight. And mine weren't. The majority of people will get like, go to the orthodontist, see their wisdom teeth are coming in crooked, get them taken out before they can start wrecking your mouth. Don't say that word in chat, Brody. Not cool. Um, well, I mean, we'll walk away and let the rebels take care of him. Well, we'll kill him. Go on, finish him. I don't see any reason to let them do it. He's gonna die anyway. Now we're easy, Captain. See, Viva Abraham Reyes. It is done. Come on. Now we find your friend. Are you crazy? We cannot stop now. Get back on your horse. Oh. Time for this. Uh, I was I leaving. I it was you, compadre. Come on. You can't give up now. There's I'm... some things you got to finish yourself. Get back on your horse. Okay, no, okay. These guys are so bossy. He's responsible for hundreds of innocent deaths. Maybe thousands. He will yeah, it's not socially down. acceptable anymore, Adam. Will, my friend. Espinosa is dead. The Santa is dead. The army is without leaders. We must move on Allende now before it is too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Javier! Actually, I'm kind of surprised YouTube lets you say it. Because YouTube doesn't let you say a lot of different words, but... Come on. Yeah. Ba ba ba! Da 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 da! Ra da da! Yeehaw! Although you gotta admit that one song was super catchy. Let's get it started in here. But you know what the words were. Catchy song. Why are you looking for Javier Escuela? We was friends once, a long time ago. Not, not anymore. anymore. Not anymore. Sigue me. This place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? Oh. But maybe the girls are all occupied. Run away, ladies! Get out of here, horse. Pop, pop, pop! Where is this guy? There you are. Boop. <laughs> my horse is all up in my go. Uh, what's your favorite movie and show? Ooh, that's a hard one. I, um, will always have very fond memories of Princess Bride, the first Pirates of the Caribbean, Trek, The Illusionist, I wouldn't say, um, Thor Ragnarok is like my favorite Marvel movie. Uh, all of them got, got good stuff. I mean, that's what we're doing today, right? Today, the the on the menu today is murder. Let's hide behind this vase. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh. Yeah. Rick and Morty. Yeah. Hey, you, lady. Where's Javier? What do you mean, don't scope anyone? 
He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. That's funny. I don't blame you. The Javier's a piece of shit. He was here. <laughs> and you believe him? Yeah, well. You must be more stupid than you look. Hmm? <laughs> Go shoot up some place sauce. <coughs> <laughs> uh, I think we could look for evidence before we trust this lady's word, but okay. You've seen all the ones you just named? What's your favorite movie? Um, favorite shows is, like, harder for some reason. Uh, because I've liked so many things, but then I didn't like the last seasons of it. Like, I loved Community, but I didn't like the last few seasons of Community. Um, used to love Scrubs. Didn't like the last few seasons of Scrubs. Uh, I loved Game of Thrones. Didn't like the last few seasons of Game of Thrones. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Let's lose some bodies. Yeah, I actually bought it, Bridget. It's on the docket. I do want to play it at some point. I think I'll really enjoy it because I do love the, like, you know, the Sherlock Holmes games, the ones where you, um, you got to puzzle it out yourself. You got to be a bit of a detective, RPG elements and stuff. I do like that. So I do own it. I think I own it on PC, not on my PS5. But yeah, so. Okay, Adam, you're gonna have to stop being so picky about how I shoot things, Adam. I like to scope things really close up sometimes, and it's a little bit annoying for you guys. That's okay. It's a different way to play. $250. But you're being a bit nitpicky, bro. John Wick 1. Yeah, John Wick. Oh, I haven't seen Moon Knight. I've just heard about it. Because uh, I don't have Disney. It is you. Plus. I cannot believe it. Yeah, it is me. I have been looking everywhere for you. You saved my mother's life. I want to repay you. You want to repay me? Yes, I will take a gift. I saved some dinero and bought you some supplies. Thank you again for everything, senor. What did he give me? Cool. <laughs> Well, tone is a little hard in in uh, written word, right? It's hard to tell if someone's being sarcastic um, when it's just written down in a text message and stuff. So when you say, dude, don't, it just sounds bossy, Adam. And then I go, please don't try to boss me around. You can tell me once, and I'll acknowledge it, that... The scope is a little too close when you shoot from there. It's not meant for that. I'll be like, okay. Thanks for telling me. And then I will continue to play however I want. <laughs> Where the hell is this stranger at? I was going to pick this up. Back to the Future, Indiana Jones movies, all Star Wars movies, Transform movie. Really? You like a lot of stuff, Paul. Oh my goodness. Give it a rest. Enough. Stop hitting a girl. Oh. Happy now? You low, brother. You think I won't shoot you in the head? You think I won't clean and pretty dirty also. You think I won't shoot you in the head? Do I Okay, look at John right now. Does he not have like so many bullets on him? at this moment what about john makes you think that he won't just kill you on a whim <laughs> jurassic world and parks movies like all of the new ones too bridget i like the older ones um 
a lot of the the old the first two of the Jurassic series are my favorite and the rest are just kind of meh meh -y. the last one not the new one that just came out but the one before the second one of the reboot the decision at the end was so dumb I couldn't even but yeah this guy's he's he doesn't even have his gun out I have like 10 guns on me 200 American dollars Mario you are evil no Eva, I'm just a cow herd who can no longer afford the cattle <laughs> You want a cow? Cowboy? Huh? Holy Mother, save me from this man! Come on, two hundred dollars, man. Do you even have two hundred dollars? I think I might lose. Give me the money or go to hell. Okay, sorry, that's just what I felt like doing. It doesn't help the quest, it doesn't let us finish the quest, it literally takes us nowhere, it loses me like 50 honor, like nothing good came out of that except that that guy's face needed to be shot in with a sawed off shotgun, in my personal opinion. So that's what I did. <laughs> I said, stop. Hitting the lady, so he kicks the lady. <laughs> oh, are you the worst? Where the hell is Javier? Okay, let's go talk to Rice. I don't understand why I can just kill that guy to free her. Why did I have to pay him money? Makes no sense. Let's go. Fallen Kingdom? Hmm. My favorite music? I don't know what my favorite music is. I do dig um, Imagine Dragons vibe. The majority of the music that they make is a banger, so... I guess around that kind of stuff. <laughs> this guy wanted help and then a wolf came out and murdered him so fast. Arrogant Worms. <laughs> I mean, I do like Arrogant Worms. A lot of their stuff is hilarious. But I'm not here like, like, oh man, driving, road tripping. I'm like, you know what I need to get this road trip popping, to get this, get me like vibing. I need some Arrogant Worms. Okay, Brody, you go ahead. See if you can hit any. Uh, cause I, uh, I don't even know all the names of them. The quality of Pirates of the Caribbean definitely goes down over time. The first one was solid, and then the rest were had like good parts, but a lot of it was just like weird filler as well, you know. The first one was a well-balanced movie that was supposed to be a single identity. And then the rest were like, this is the sequel of the sequel of the sequel. And then this sequel of the sequel of the sequel. Like, I watched the new Pirates of the Caribbean with, like, new main characters and then just Johnny Depp. Which, of course, you had to. Um, and I was like, it's still enjoyable, but, I mean, it's just, like, very redundant at this time.
There's a great song by the Arrogant Worms called um, Leech, and it's a lullaby. And they go, You're a leech, little child. You sucked mama dry. You cried and you cried and you cried and you cried. And now your father lost his will to survive. You're a leech. Go to sleep, little leech. And it's fantastic. And you could sing it to your baby and your baby wouldn't know what you were singing. Imagine dragging a shark. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo. Here. Well, well, well. Look who it is. I mean, we know Enemy is popping because it was everywhere for a while. I mean, I like Imagine Dragons Radioactive, uh, Demons. Demons is a good one. Dead Man's Chest, Fountain of Youth, Stranger Tides. Black Pearl is the first one. There's, an, there's one more in there. Davy Jones Locker or something. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Because there was four. And then they rebooted it after. Right? How so you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In short, I can make them better. Okay, dude. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. <laughs> me, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Black flag. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you. Wait, you is that one? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha. Okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Does anyone know, else think that this guy sounds like he's high some of the time? Like, I do it for my people, man. <laughs> I get weird vibes from him sometimes. Like, he, uh... He tried to start a cult and he accidentally started a revolution instead. You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. Two best yeah, friends. What's changed stuff. since then? Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. <laughs> so where are they? Who? Williamson That's funny. Venezuela. I'm not sure exactly where they are definitely in Mexico. That much I know. Yeah, he kind of has like You told me you'd found them. Uh, and I will. Air-headed quality of someone who smokes weed. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes. You'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. Dutch so wanted to be super charming. To start his cult. Together. Under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids. Lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long. And wow, we still like. Could only succeed if it was brutal. Wow, John is really talking fondly about Dutch right now. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know, but I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane, lost faith in everything and everyone. You ate cowboy nachos earlier? What's on cowboy nachos? Is it beans? Is it like brown beans and hamburger? Yeah, they're out in the sun all the time. 
Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper. So Chips? Beep. Barbecue. We do what we barbecue can sauce? Rudy? I know. I've Dutch was not boat. charming at all. No one was charming in Red Dead 2. No, 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 Dutch! My, my first impression of Dutch, because I didn't play Red Dead 1, was that he was very charismatic. Um, but then you saw the cracks. He tells me to go do all this work and I'm not paying enough into the camp. And I haven't seen him do anything. I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect. But Barbecue it is food. He enjoys it. Something must have made hmm. him that way. Coward Sounds good. That way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Yeah, I think they wore the long sleeve shirts to protect themselves against the sun because they didn't have sunscreen, though, right? Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then the son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific example. Oh my god, that's gross. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America, they told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. That was very lazy, yeah. Unlike Uncle, Cowboys are in the sun all day, yes. Uncle was not a cowboy. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. Yeah, my main issue with Dutch and Red Dead 2 was he kept telling people what to do, and I didn't see him lift a, like, a finger to do any of it himself. He would, if I wasn't putting enough of my money into the camp, he would hound me and say, you have to put more money into the camp funds. And so I'd go look at the camp book and it would be, I would have donated like 4 billion pocket watches or something, like $80 worth of shit. And then the whole of the entire camp would have donated like $20 worth of stuff. Like it would be like, blah, put $5 in, blah, put $5 in, blah. But they would only put in $20. I was like, I am the biggest con contribution to this camp, and you're telling me I'm not donating enough to this camp? This is a cult. Screw you, Dutch. <laughs> Dutch's plan was supposed to be lazy, yes. Probably. He's like, no, I'm busy being a leader. Okay. Okay. But listen, we've got to get this done before the train runs out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Yeah, doesn't he not sound like he's high some of the time? There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. Okay. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, John. Awesome. Gracias a Allende. Rebelde. Rebelde. Vamos.
Where's the prompt to kill him silently? I tried to take them out and I couldn't. Okay, I can take this one out. I'm so good at throwing knives. I should join the circus! Arthur had no mission to himself yet. And every time we did a big mission and we split up the funds, it wasn't fair because I did most of the work. I should have gotten a bigger cut. But it was like Dutch gets a certain amount of money like the the gang gets a certain amount of money and then everyone else is split one here. Oh, I needed to do that. Why aren't I hitting any of these dudes? Come on, come on, come on. They're just standing there. Why are you being so casual while I'm shooting you guys? They're walking so slowly in front of me. It's very weird. I don't know where these other people are. Up here? Oh shit. Oh shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I couldn't, I didn't know if they could see me for a second. We'll have to do everything again, I'm sure. Again, because this game does not have good um, checkpoints in the missions. They're like, oh, you died like when you were pretty much done? No. Go back. Do it again! Like, I should have, it should have checkpointed after the Gatling gun. Ah, shit. I've been spotted. Let me get behind this one. Oh, hey, bro. This guy's circling behind. Whoa, what am I being pushed? Ah. What was I being pushed for? Okay. 
I I accidentally stabbed one dude in the head before I should have stabbed a different dude in the head first so that that dude didn't see the other dude get stabbed in the head. I did it right the first time. But when you make me do the same thing that I already got right the first time over again, I get impatient and I don't do it as carefully because that's the kind of person I am. I go, let me skip to the good part. I'm up on here. Stab that one in the head. Detach here. Who's driving that away? Take control of the Gatling gun. Then, instead of just shooting people, what if we... Oh, I can't throw that far. <laughs> Okay, we need to shoot the guy in front of their Gatling gun first. Very important. Make sure that one's dead. Shoot up this one, this one. Where's the stuff I can light on fire again? So many of them! Oh, there's an explosive thing over here. There we go. Okay. We go. Oh, rolling block. Wait, is that not a bad guy? I'm not shooting you. I'm shooting other dudes. Mind your business! There's a guy right here. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Where's the last one? He's, uh... Right here. Right here. Look at this guy. <laughs> okay, take control of the engine car. Okay. I will do so. Because I am a multitasker. I get shit done. Let's go! Full break. Choo choo! I choo choo choose you. Okay, so we stole a train. How does this get us closer to killing Bill? I don't know. I just know that it is the way. 
to the way to stopping Bill's heart is by stealing this train. You move like a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Thank you. And blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vamonon. Quick, brother, we don't have much time. Plant dynamite on the armor car hat. Come on, my friend, get the hatch open. Okay, we need to get up top, I think. And I think. Plant some dynamite. Run away. You guys knew I was blowing it up. Why are you screaming? Yeah, maybe he has a gift. Maybe I just blew up some people in there or something. Who knows? I did kill some people. Loot this body. And loot this body. Thank you. Uh, doesn't really look like anything. Oh, the safe. Crack that safe. Okay. Uh, move it right to search for the first number. Okay, we're crack- we're cracking it. Cracking this safe. Crack that out of the floor, crack that and then some more. Whoa, whoa. See, I don't have any enemies, so I wouldn't want to have to wear a yellow leather jumpsuit till the end of time in order to have revenge on my enemies, because I don't have one particular person I would- want to choose some sort of horrific vengeance upon. Okay, we got more monies and a letter. A letter to the editor. Back to the roof. A great day for the revolution. You've got mail. Uh, we found a letter in there. Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. It doesn't matter who we're working for, they jerk us around. The spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. You'll probably give me the information as soon as you're done with me, eh? I know how you work. More fame. I want to be rich. I want to be famous. Okay, we got to go back and hang out with him again. Okay, we head back. Oh, get out of the way. You guys are driving so slow. You got a crate outside and you're sitting in it. <laughs> what? And you're excited about this, Rachel? Has...
Oh, wait, it's the wrong gun. Did you think about that? <laughs> what jerks? These uh, wolves are such dicks. It's mind of my business. You're like a cat almost. Yes! Also, it's very similar energy to that line in Little Rascals. Where they go, I got a pickle. I got a pickle. I got a pickle. Hey, 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 hey. Who's got a pickle? I've got a pickle. I've got a pickle. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh, what is this guy doing? Ooh, he's got an Plane. I want to see him fly. I feel like you're on top of the world. Hello there, friend. Hey, you what's happening? Enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? You know, I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. You're gonna try to use that <laughs> crazy thing to fly? I'll be yeah. soaring like an eagle. Or my upward breezes. I should be the first man swooping through this valley. Yes, I shall. I'd leap off now, only it seems like I need more adhesive to keep the wings together. I've concocted my own special formula, since that store-bought stuff isn't strong enough. However, I can't abandon my machine to gather more materials. Oh, what does he want me to get him? I'm talking about Charles Kinnear. I need a bunch of bird feathers, doesn't matter what kind, along with a parcel of beaver hides to boil down, along with some red sage to make it all pliable. Okay. I think I can find all that stuff. I'll be back, Charles. Could you Wait. off that cliff is something I have to watch. Oh, they doubted dear Icarus, sir. Yes, they did. Didn't Icarus get burnt up by the sun, bro? We gotta find those things I asked for or not. Wait, one of the Wright brothers was called Charles? Why does that not sound right? Orville and Wilbur. Yeah, who's this Charles? He can't be one of the Wright brothers. I knew they didn't have a name like Charles. It sound right. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna go hang out with Rise again. Rise up! Rise up! It's over here. The name isn't right? Oh. <laughs> the name isn't right, get the pun? Are you talking about my outfit, Nikita? Because yes, it was intentional. With the Kill Bill as our... as the title of the, the stream today? It's 100% intentional. Okay, he's this way, apparently. I fell up one of these cliffs once into the water where John promptly perished. Ooh, did he say burrito? Sounds tasty. I went the wrong way. Didn't mean for it to be a pun. I thought it was funny. But other people uh, built airplanes too, you know. The Wright brothers were just one of the few who made airplanes that actually flew. This guy might be one of the other people who built an airplane and then, like, you know, just die. Oh, 
Okay, I'm back. Let's go! The Gates of El Presido. El Presido. Oh shit! she oh my goodness did she <laughs> call out an ecstasy oh viva la mexico it's muted okay let me just double check oh it's not Like me yelling out in passion. Oh, Canada! Camp on Murata. All right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful. Uh, I just say she was incredible. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. No, you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! Marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going Is to he not a peasant? Of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other great men. The very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. Oh my mother. goodness. Your description of her is insane. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother. I huh? guess the man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe she thinks we're gonna get married. I mean, I told her we were getting married, but what a weird thing. Like, why did she believe me? Yeah, it was a no-no scene. No, there's nudity. You, whenever you take a bath, I read that too. I don't know if you get to see anything important though finally the santa is dead i am happy it was your bullet young after what he did to you in chuparosa yeah i'm gonna give him a second chance to kill me he must have felt good some random ass cat looking at you outside <laughs> aren't you in your crate maybe they want your crate rachel Can you believe it? The place we first met. The scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we No no scenes in both. Brother. If my rebels can take a presidio, then we can The sexy times. Story. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. The square that I'll do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection. Not your crate! <laughs> yeah. You see? That's what so you said you were in the, the box like a cat. Along. When we have them, excellent then description. You making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. Ooh, John's not taking any gruff. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious urges took hold, of course. 
I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. A cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, Joe, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. I don't know if that's right. For what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, I love. Dutch started falling apart. If you were the bar with Lenny and accidentally walked into a specific room, there was no no scenes. Oh. Maybe it's just like this is part of the main quest. So like there's not necessarily no no scenes as part of the main quest. Not any of the so-called friends. Someone's gonna die, friend! Don't threaten me, buddy! Okay, pal! I remember Cabron being used a lot. Well now you get to Well have fun dressing up in it, Paul. When you find it. I just need him and Williams. <sighs> so who was that girl back there? Another loyal supporter, a free mate. <laughs> you want a name? You can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Young? I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. And for her, you will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like me cannot be with just one woman. It would be an injustice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. <laughs> so gross. Kind of like a national gigolo. I owe it to the future of Mexico to breed, my brother. Oh my goodness. This guy's so gross. And everything he says is like he's high. I wish I'd never asked. We've got so much dynamite in our way again. It ain't exactly been a vacation. Why are you talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. I know what you Americans call us. Greasers, sun greeners, pepper guts. Sun greeners? Grinners? I don't care who a man is, what he does, or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. It's that simple for you, isn't it? You would make a oh, Rachel, you got kittens! It's an infestation! I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. Yeah, you have all the makings of being a notoriously shitty leader. And what we consider a great leader. The revolution is gaining momentum. Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon it will be <laughs> me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay, we're gonna skip. I can't handle this guy anymore. He's just the worst. I don't think we need to know anything else. Just the worst. Not as bad as the people we're gonna go kill. But not great. He's not raping people. But he is lying all the time. Meanwhile, Jew, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you are close. He's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Okay, so we gotta go fast. They call me Mellow Yellow. So feisty. No, 
Jesus. Why is that the game plan? Those poor horses. Oh, I'm one chick. I <laughs> got this guy. Oh man, someone else shot that dude. What is going on? That guy's had so many bullets to the head. Get this one in the head. There we go. Yeah, if you guys could stop shooting the guys up high, you just stagger them, and then I lose my shot. It's not cool. Where's this guy? There he is. There he is. It's right here, right? Well, maybe not. No, there he is. Yeah, I can kill him? No. no I could kill him. Hello! Guess I'll make a gunman after all! Boop! Boop! Just a little boop in the snoot, you know? This guy's up high. Where is this guy? Where is this guy? Oh, here he is. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Is the kitten meowing at you? It wouldn't work. Okay, let's switch to this one. I'm tired of it. So many people to kill, eh? Find who? What are you talking about? Sneaky, sneaky. Search the tower. Okay, we'll get up here. I'll just let them fight it out. Yeah, I'm running at you. Ah, They've already tamed you. Uh. Oh, I only have one more sniper rifle. Gotta make it count, you know? How 
is this guy shooting me? Okay, let's go. Oh! Sniper rifle ammo, nice. Running through the backyard in St. Denise trying to s escape. They're not good at parkour. No, no one's really good at parkour, to be fair. The majority of people are not great at parkour, I would say. Oh, I'm low on ammo. Hi. <laughs> What do we want? A girl we're fighting for! I'm almost out of uh, my proper ammo. I'm gonna have to shoot some faces in. Okay. You gotta run over here, I guess. Over. Okay. Be in here? Javier! Or, wait, who am I looking for? Escuela. Um, is that Javier? That guy? <laughs> Found you <laughs> running the swamp without your horse. Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Is this well, Javier? It's uh, good to see you. Is this Javier? I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Wait! This doesn't look like Javier. From Red Dead 2. I mean, I guess it looks a bit like him. I mean, that's the same. But he looked... Way... <laughs> way better in Red Dead 2 than he does in Red Dead 1. Way better. Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> So now you do he the looks... government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. No. Nice. Liar. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Besides, I can give you... Yeah, I can tell you exactly what he's gonna do, even though I've never played this game before. He's gonna take that crate he's got his hand on, and he's gonna slam a jam at me as a distraction, and then I'll have to shoot him in with my dead eye. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die, whoa. to save your own skin, and now you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. I can't believe John got so much closer to Javier right now that the crate will slap the gun out of my hand. It's embarrassing. This is embarrassing, John. Even now. Oh, I didn't slap it out of my hand. Javier's not very good at what he does. If he had just directly smacked that crate, it would have tossed the the gun out of my hand too. Hog tie or kill, Javier. Where's? Let's go! 
This horse has no stamina. Oh, for a second I thought he, um... I thought he wasn't on a horse. That the game was just being kind. He's a very good shot. Serpentine! The horse doesn't have it. We're gonna have to kill him. We're gonna have to kill him because we can't catch up. This horse sucks. Oh, wait. Uh, do you guys want to kill Javier? Or do you guys want to. I don't Where's know. Bill, you son of a bitch? Do you think I won't kill you, brother? He ain't here, brother. He's with a gender. Okay. Kill Javier? Or you take him in? For revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. I guess this horse we just stole. There we go. Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. Wouldn't want Abigail what? Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. You want me to take him in? It was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. Yeehaw! I don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. Whatever you Come say, on. old friend. Tell me where Bill is! It was Bill, not me. Yeah, and he's next. You and Bill are back together. Two crazy men sharing a bed. Go to hell, you pathetic fool. Oh, wait. Are you saying that Bill and Javier are an item? Like you, you know? I gave up caring about him or you a long time ago, friend. As I say, this ain't been a social call. It's just business. You're going to be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Put him in your cell for now, John. Let's go. Don't tell me what to do! Just let me go, John! It's me all you want! You're wasting what's left of your breath! Enjoy the view! Breathe the air! Last of either you're gonna be getting, brother! Okay, take him over here. Toss him on the ground. Oh, you piece of shit! Hope you're sure about what you're doing, brother! You saw me out! Didn't that life we had be nothing to you? Oh! Ah, you puto. Ah, one day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Uh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. Thanks, Javier. You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. <laughs> you're still a puto. Marston! For some reason, the way puto is, uh, spelt, it looks like potato, and I, it makes me feel like he's calling me a potato. All I know is you were once a potato, always a potato. How dare you call me a potato? Wait, where am I going? I don't. They're here! I need you at the cannon! Cannonball! <laughs> what? Oh! 
That is fun. That is a fun way to shoot a cannon. Oh, oh, oh. This is fun. <laughs> Why are big guns so fun? Do you know John had a daughter, but she died due to unknown causes? No, I did uh, maybe I knew that? When did she die? Like, what age did this daughter die at? Just a baby? Or a child? Bolt action rifle. Fun. Gonna use some more ammo. I'm out of all the ammos. Oh. Out of my rifles ammo. I need to be using my repeaters, apparently. During birth? Oh, okay. Oh, you're guessing. See, I don't know! <laughs> He's being very quiet right now. Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Reunited and it feels so good. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Dutch? Oh, your wife sends her regards. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> creep. Don't say it like that, you creep. Somebody's getting famous! That somebody is me. Okay. Where is he at? He's all the way over here. So we'll slap down this waypoint. We'll, uh... Quickly camp and then we'll zip zap zoop to the waypoint. Dutch more like douchebag. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Dutch is the worst, but like not as bad as Micah. So far, I haven't met anyone in Red Dead 1 that I hate with like the absolute bubbling, brewing passion that I hated Micah. Because I don't have to live with any of them. Oh, this guy's dead. Who the hell is this guy? Well, whatever. Not my business. Nanya. Nanya business. Voltealo, 
Botelo. Quítate, estúpido. Le va a dar un balazo. Quítate. Quítate, pendejo. I can't tell who's killing who. Luis Luis. Viva la revolución. I'm assuming these are guys who stole the hats. No, didn't steal the hats. Be careful, you're fighting over a gun that might go off. When who was dying in Red Dead 2? My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Ah, okay, let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. How did he get caught? Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> the American is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. <laughs> Put the gun down, American. Yeah, yeah, matalo. They hit me on the. Yeah, huh? Oh my God, is that Louisa? Santa Maria. So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like. What are you talking about? You're playing Batman now. Nice. Did he cry? I don't remember that. He didn't look sad at all. He let Micah basically kill me. Like I, I didn't get Micah didn't kill me. I died with the sunset. But uh. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Poor Louisa. Deserve better than that piece of crap. Senor, oh! In, jail who will fight on our side. in the acting. Well, they didn't put it in. I will rally the peasants, John. You go after the prisoners. Go to the jail. Okay, we're going to jail, you guys. Honestly, can't tell the difference between who's fighting who right now. Oh shit! Why is my knife out? <laughs> Dispense with the guards! What is... It's not what I grabbed. Okay. Took a few bullets there, didn't see what was going on. Repeater ammo. I don't need repeater ammo! I need rifle ammo. Let us free. We will help you. Sure, why not? Shoot the locks. Free the prisoners. One lock. Let's go, my friends. Two locks. Don't put. Don't walk in front of the guy aiming. There we go. Get out of here! What's funny, toddler? Uh, 
Hear that bass and the music? It's a good guy, apparently. Bad guy. John's gonna have to ride in a horseless wagon. It sounds like a weird threat, but you just mean a car, right? Oh, where am I getting shot? Where am I getting shot from? Maybe it'll be from when I save the people. Maybe that's when the checkpoint will be. That'll be nice. Oh. After I killed these guys. That's pretty good for this game. Decent checkpoint. Okay, the machine gun's over here. I can't see where it's at, though. <laughs> Where's this gat? Where's this machine gun at? Oh, there it is. Got him. What are you talking about? I just shot the Gatling gun guy. <laughs> just thought both guys. You're playing Undead Nightmares right now? Yeah? <laughs> Worth it. Good. Go for the machine gun, Joe. We can use gunpowder to blow the door open. Wait while we get everything into position. Why do you have to bend your crate, Rachel? Has it been overcome? Do not shoot the powder cake, so rise men are clear. Got it. I can I can learn. No, don't. Dudes! Huh. 
I was having a fun time with the machine gun, and then these guys walked in front of me. He's out of my spot. Head. Head. Beautiful. Yes! Murder! Murder! Rifle ammo. I do need that. I'm so very proficient at murder. Murder is what I do. You can't stop a cat from purring. Or a dog from taking a poo. Murders in my blood, it's what I do! Watch out, Bill! We're coming for ya! We're coming for ya! You can use the Gatling gun to defend a villa. I will use the Gatling gun to defend a villa. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I didn't get here in time. I didn't get there in time. I didn't realize. I need to put my gun away and I need to sprint! Okay, here we go. We're gonna get situated better. Much, you're gonna run into my run up this hill right now. I'm almost dead. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dead. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dead. Okay. We will do this. I just gotta take a quick break. We'll be right back after these messages. Boop. What? Rex? <laughs> what are you even doing here, Rex? Aren't you impregnating Krogans or something? <laughs> Look how casually I got into that channel. It's like a hail of gunfire, just a little poop. <laughs> it's like it's just raining, not raining bullets. <laughs> just a little rain. Dogs on our own. In the first time Outside I played this. Law. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just. Can you be my best friend, Brooks? I need a funny sidekick who uh, just gets into shenanigans while I save you. And you just say the funniest things. That's who I need. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits after my cat. <laughs> Brooks. <laughs> right, sorry. Mr. Biscuits. Anyway, Mr. Bis uh, my program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. 
Or spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Are we saying the Nothing only reason why I'm alive right now money. is because of Mr. Biscuits? Because if so, I can live with that. That's great. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. Well, it worked. You can't complain when it works. What's up, Commander? I mean, you can, but you shouldn't complain when it works and you didn't die and I didn't die. I'll go there for dinner. And what? then you broke their floor. <laughs> they don't even have food you can eat there. Not the point, Shepard. <laughs> You're so mad at me. I didn't. It wasn't even me who shot the floor. It was the other guys shooting at me. I didn't want those fish to die. I wanted to buy some koi from them and put them in my tank. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. Well, uh, falling through a floor with some fish. Get your facts straight, sir. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Oh, we go boom. <laughs> Love a good explosion. I'm okay too. That's Where's good, bro. <laughs> Everyone's having fun. Like I said before, the first rule of war is everyone should have fun, you know? Uncle Ergon has a present for you! I love the banter! This is Shepard! We need to- Look at this kill box we created! Oh shit. And that's the moment when the universe ran out of ammunition. <laughs> so many of them. It's so unfair. Should we give them a chance? <laughs> for yourself, please. I'm not even a field agent. And now, Black Gamble watches because Gina took too long in the bathroom. The synthetic sounds of space. We lost a cat. It takes so much longer to go to the bathroom when you have a big ass onesie. But you got to put back on. Oh. Which is why it took so long. You gotta get rid of cat camera because Garvey's in the kitchen getting a drink of water. We don't know if he's coming back because he's uh He's definitely just left the office before and not come back. <laughs> okay, so we left off. We're murdering with this Gatling gun. We're a murdering machine. I got a pop. I got some snacks, a fruit to go, granola bar. We're set for murder! I'm gonna open this first, so. Have a little bite of my fruit leather.
And we're good to go. Who else is ready for murder? So we can only be on this gun so long before the people who are shooting me are too close. And it makes no sense to stay on the Gatling gun because we're taking too many hits. Rise. We're not done with the Gatling gun, though. You must be the Pendejos I keep hearing about. Well, whatever. I guess that guy doesn't matter. I guess no one cares about that dude. They're like, oh no, leave, leave Lewis alive. He's just, he's not a threat. <laughs> Lewis can't get into any trouble. I have um, a bug bite on my thumb here and it looks like bone. It's so perfectly in line. Oh, and it's so itchy. Um, oh, catch Williamson, whoops. Uh, I'm not catching him right now. We gotta catch Bill! Give up, Williamson! I already got a squala! Where's this last guy? And you get this horse. Yeah! Why did Bill take a stagecoach? That's so weird. A weird, weird choice. I'm sure there's there's always going to be Halloween costumes of stuff like that. Oh shit, I got killed. What? The, what was that? Where'd the Gatling gun come from? Ah, that thumb is itchy. There he is. There he There's is. No Good boy. Wait, I have to give um, Garvey a treat for coming. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. Oh, it's a purry boy. Hers? Hers from Garvey? He's a good boy. Came when they called. 
game when I called. What a good boy you are. So are we going to have a little bit of Garvey Snuggles for a second? Because he's being a good boy. And then he'll bite me and I'll put him down. Because I can't stand for that. I can't stand being bitten. Okay, he wants down. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, Garvey. Okay, we're chasing after Bill. Right. Okay, Bill's that way. Yeah, we'll hunt you to hell and back, Bill. Cool, Paul. I hope you enjoy it. You think this horse is faster? Well, it's gone. Why is this guy just running? You'll never catch up to him on foot, you crazy! Both in the face, the stagecoach drivers. Your stagecoach, Bill. I'm coming out. Don't shoot. Here, take Williamson. Just let me live. I will leave the country. I promise. I don't think that's an option, bro. You always was weak minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane. Dutch. Oh boy, guys, we get a Bill Bill. Many? I think the only option is to kill him, but let's see. Let's do it! Let's kill Bill, guys. Hi, Garvey. What are you doing? Okay. Wanted you dead. We all dead. Well, I'm going after him next. I'll outlive all of you. It's gonna be funny. You always was a traitor. You bastard no. And you always no. was a dumb no. hick. <laughs> ah. All right, John. I, I, I'll, I'll come quietly. <gasps> no! Uh... No! Take me back! I didn't get to shoot Bill! I didn't know what was going on! I'm so mad. Die. 
We didn't even kill Bill! Take me back. No, don't save! <laughs> we can't even redo it! Ah! Zero out of ten. Worst game ever. My people are free. Garby! And it is all thanks to you, John. And no. to the people who laid down their second, I have to discipline my cat. Oh my goodness, this cat. Lives. People like Louisa. Oh yes, she, she was very brave and she will be missed. Okay, shut up, Rice. Who was she again? Your peasant girl wife to be? Oh yes, of course, she, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Louisa. What? Oh yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl, like riding a pompous bull in was amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in. Hi, Carlos. Sorry, I didn't say anything. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levanten, sing. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Travel mm. <laughs> safely, amigo. I can't believe I didn't get to kill Bill! Oh. Yeah. Damn it. That's so sad. <laughs> Let's just cry into our cornflakes now. I don't know what's going on. I have my thing holstered. <laughs> Who's the, we just killed the law. What's going on? A nice place. Fourteen buckaroonies. Do I own this shack? Whose shack is this? Okay, we're done, Mexico. Not like done, done, but done. Bye, Brody. Have fun at football. Where's this G at? Up here. Agent Ross. Why is he a G? Let's go see the funny man. About a funny thing. 
Well, Bill is dead. That's what's important. Bill was killed. I had my gun pointed right at him and a bullet killed him. Um, so Bill is dead. We got a revenge. We got to wear the yellow jumpsuit. It's all good. Yeah, I do stream tomorrow, Brody. So it might be tomorrow. It might be tomorrow. Killed two of my men and captured another. We must save him. Stop playing tough and run off back to mom. We are the town of criminals. We can do that for funsies. Get a repeater out and start repeating with bullets. <laughs> Killing people is bad, okay? Can't shoot what you can't see. Just a little boop with the bullet, you know how it is, guys. Oh. Oh. He's gonna get me. Dead. And... One more. Where are they? Oh, it's a lady. Rescue the deputy by killing the gang leader. Oh, I thought I already killed the gang leader. Okay, what if I go up here? Can I get a good angle? I could use a hand here. Okay, well. Never mind. We're going in. We're going in. Area unintentionally. 
Good job, Tink! I knew we had it in us. The whole time. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in pieces! Because your brains are all over the floor. The funny man is right here. Oh, he's above. He's up on top of the church. Where I was but a second ago. I appear to be in something of a bind. Oh, it's this guy. This guy who's always being kidnapped. <laughs> he's a funny dude. Here you go. Here. Read up! Damn, sport. You really are someone to be riding the river with. I think you done outstayed your welcome down these parts, old Jimmy. <laughs> I'd get out while the going's good. Oh, you're right about that. There is something about nearly dying several times that hasn't given the old muse the kick up the backside that I was expecting. I can't write a joke for a pile of fresh turd. No more of this cowboy business for old Jimmy. I think I might take up music. Or war reporting. War reporting would be the exact same thing. Getting into dangerous situations. Don't worry, you can go. I'll be leaving your primordial lands forthwith. <sighs> well, I never. Well, I never. Cool. This out, sport. I'm more of a hello man than a goodbye man. Oh, quaint. That guy's stuck there. That's funny. Okay, map. Do I have anything else I want to do? I don't see any more stranger things that I need to pick up. Pick up! In order to finish things off down here. Oh. Yeah, I think this guy knots stuff. Eva in peril. I wonder if I can go save her now. <laughs> I have 200 bucks. Well, let's see if that works. Go up. Over. Down. Let's see if we can go pay $200 to the guy shot in the head. And murdered. He's probably alive again. Um, and save her life. Because why would I pay him $200 when it's so much easier to literally just shoot him in the head? Because he's beating up his hooker. And he paid $200 for her, but guess what? You can't own people, bro. So it doesn't matter how much money you paid for her. Quit Beating her up! Ooh, Gervy is coming down again. We have a cat cat. Cat cat. Cat cat cat. He's not sleeping. Uh oh, that is not a good at all. There he is. There's his little face. His little stupid face. Look at that stupid face. Saved you, bro. Just too many of those darn critters for me to handle myself today. Thanks for helping me out, friend. Much obliged. Not a problem, sir. You're welcome. 
Five dollars for your life? Okay. I would have paid someone who saved my life a little bit more money than that, but whatever. The amount of people that start getting chased by wolves or cougars in this uh, game is astronomical. In fact, there's two cougars. Cougars are like solitary hunters. It's a very weird thing. Okay, we were... What were we doing? It's at camp, probably. We were gonna do this. I was gonna go to camp. Go to Waypoint. Talk to the Lady of the Night, who costs $200. But I should get a very deep discount, because I shot the guy in the head. I shot a guy in the head. I should get to pay no monies for it because the guy who owns her is dead. You're welcome, lady. Oh, I didn't know he was killing her. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Am I supposed to punch him? Am I supposed to kill him? What do you want from me, game? Where's this lady at? Gotta go behind. Okay. Oh, he's alive again! Look at this guy! Do you think I can kill him afterwards? Take the damn money, you bastard. She's all yours, okay? Enjoy her. Gracias, senor. Thank you. Will you miss me, mi amor? What are you going to do now? I will go to Las Hermanas. The sisters there will help me. Okay, have fun. Have fun, lady. Where did he go? Where is he? Where did the guy with the money go? I want to shoot him again. That's so funny. I shot him in the head. He was very, very dead. But now he can take my money. A very miraculous man. What a miraculous man. Okay. I think that's everything. Oh, but if we... Where do we want to go? We want to go... Here? Agent Ross. So... That means we want to... Get out of the town. Go over here.
Then I can't. Then fast travel. Probably. Gary's being very active now. Na, 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 na. Okay. Ooh, we're in black water now. Ooh, there's a stranger over there. Let's go do some side quests. We'll do start main quest tomorrow. Who is this? Talk to the man. Hello there, sir. Hello there, other sir. Honest day's work for an honest day's that does not looks fit my appearance. Enough. Perfect. As honesty is in my business the worst policy. Okay. I work for our well respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and <gasps> malingering. Malingering? We're going to put a stop to malingering, are we? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate... Oh, sexy pictures. ...been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. Nice, nice, nice. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. Okay, thank you. you should be proud. I am proud of myself. I'm, I'm fantastic. Everyone knows it. Oh, I, did, I didn't mean to go to that. That's so funny. I accidentally started it. I was like, what's this X? It's the main quest! Whoops. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. One. Okay, dude. 115. 116. This guy seems to love his job. Like, if you ever saw a passion for his vocation for his job for his career it's Mr. right there Martin. in that man glad to see you how was your journey he loves counting Here's shit i could tell son. being well looked after well looked after i want to see him mr ross wants to speak with you we've had some important developments how about i just set everything on fire hole in your head right here <clears throat> right now you want that mr marston you want that mr marston i ask you to calm down why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games... This guy's so cocky. Ones ...we could play. Yes, sir. Like hanging you for murder. Or confiscating all of your property. Like that little farm of yours. Or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. We choose to play the blackmail game. It's a much more elegant Where's game. My wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn. But now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. 
No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. Why? And then I'll let you be. Sure you will. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squabble by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, well, shall we say, been disbanded. <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, this guy really likes to poke the bears, eh? Oh, yes. This guy's blackmailing a dude who's murdered so many people, and he thinks the best way to go about it is to do it in the most mocking way possible. <laughs> Your wife and son are, are doing well. I love you. Try to ensure things stay that way. Yeah, okay. You're gonna murder a child yes, and a woman if I don't do what you want. That's pretty fucked up, government. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. In a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Yeah. Ross, I don't have narcotics. This man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. Oh, snaps! Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on. A harmless Tomorrow, old fraud. Let's hurry along. He's a harmless old frog. That guy loves his counting. Loves it. Head for the wreck of the serendipity, Mr. Portal. Beep, beep! <laughs> Look at the wheels on this thing. Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Oh my goodness, are they going to be Best this condescending? Now, it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the horse son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? You're gonna be obnoxious the whole drive. I'm just gonna take a nap. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. No. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and Play being a farmer again, or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. <laughs> We are blackmailing you, and you will like it. Oh, you don't like the blackmailing? Well, too bad. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? It looks stupid. The wheels are so dumb. Look in. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly. But still a dying breed. Like the buffalo. 
just as dumb, but a quiet as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This <laughs> is the age of the machine. It's so it's funny how a guy gets a little bit of power and he just abuses In it. Future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp here. Okay, okay, okay. On the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. Mm. Do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. If he Agent Fordham story. dies in this, do I lose? Because he's the worst. Let's go, Mr. Marston. I'm already out. I'm already gone. Wait, we need to stay together. Well, why don't you be a little bit faster, bro? Hmm? 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 Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. You need to go faster. We go in, take him down. Get the hell out of here. This guy needs to go faster. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. Yeah. Just about a line, even once. Well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. The consequences of what? Because I'm a better shot than you, bro. <laughs> I'm pushing you because you're being a pushy arsehole. I just thought that's what you liked. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. Then informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. There's a lot Tomorrow, of TNT. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with low lights. Seems like it's a trap, and you're gonna die, Agent Fordham. Fordham, 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 Fordham. There's someone up there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. Why don't you investigate and I'll keep watch? It's garbage behavior. How about instead of blackmailing people to do your job, you just do your job yourself? There's somebody up there. Sounds like someone's being tortured. In here? No. Why would you go up higher? I don't see anything. Oh no, I see it. There's a dude with a bag on his head. Oh, it's the informant, I bet. The informant has a bag on his head. And then I'll show up and he'll be dead. Okay, here's the stairs. And then we have to go up one more time. Need a little... Oh no, he's right here. Over here! I found him! Good God, that's our informant. Gnosis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! It's a trap! Austin, you'll have to carry this man! I don't think you can walk! <laughs> Why don't you carry the man? Come on, we need to get him to safety! Keep your eyes open! 
Gotta save this dude, gotta save this dude for some reason. The army is on its way. Now let's go. We need to get the hell off this boat. I'm on a boat, eh? Who's the coward here? Yeah, there's lots of them. That's because it's a trap, bro. you kill someone for me I've got a guy literally slung over my shoulders and I'm murdering more more dudes right now than you are what's up with that huh what's up with that why are you completely useless Yeah, the path is clear because I shot a path. What did you do, bro? What did you do? I have this dude on my shoulder and I killed everybody and you did nothing. You just sat there and you just watched me literally bear the burden upon my shoulders. All of it. Because you were useless. This agent is useless. You need to fire him. Worthless agent, not worth. Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. What in the back you seat, you say? Right Let's go. There might be more of them. Ooh, we're gonna have a shootout in the car. Vroom vroom, motherfuckers! Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. Look how bouncy our car is. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Oh my goodness, uh, this guy's ignorant. Uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostis. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat, then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Yeah, you guys are really good at making plans. Or social secretary or some Just such. shut your mouth. He's not a very good shot is what I'm saying. I don't know the shooting. Can we skip this part? Or are we going to have a shootout? Why do I have to be here for this? It's so boring. Come on, not now. <laughs> I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Gordon, we'll fix that damn engine. Time to shoot some horses in the face! 
Shooting horses, shooting horses, shooting dudes on horses, shooting, shooting that dude on a horse because easier to shoot the dude than the horse. Okay, we need to hide for a second. It's a bit bullety out here. Who knew that the weather was uh, stunning with the sight of bullets? The shower of bullets in the afternoon. Oh, that's the good guy. Just saw a head, I was trying to shoot it. We have three sniper rifle bullets. Oh, why didn't that kill him? So disappointing. Oh, I just killed everyone. Man, I'm so good at murder, you guys suck! Everyone else sucks at murder. I can't see any more. Portum, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. He just cranked it. He just Let's get back to Black cranked the shit out of that car the whole time I was shooting faces. That's all that guy did. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. <laughs> Beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. But this is the future. God help us all. <laughs> it's not the automobile. God help everyone. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered... Okay, we don't want to listen to these guys squabble anymore. Let's finish this quest. And let's finish for the day. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of it. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. The guy can speak English. It's not that hard, bro. It's not that hard. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day. G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Mm -hmm. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Thank you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thing. This guy's so condescending. That's the worst. Okay, guys. I think we're going to end a little early today. Keep your eyes open, mister. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me today. Much appreciated. Tomorrow, we are probably going to play some more Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I don't know what the theme will be, because today was Kill Bill, and it went swimmingly. Bill did die. That's true. Uh, so, if you want to see more of this, tomorrow, 2 p.m. Mountain Time, that's when we're streaming. Uh, if you're not following on Twitch or subscribed on YouTube, why not, why not, why not? And until next time, you guys. Bye!